Hello Healthy Place subscribers, it's Emma Marie here, author of the Verbal Abuse in Relationships blog and today I'm discussing how to trust yourself and others again after an abusive relationship. Firstly, opening yourself up to love again after abuse is kind of an uphill battle and there's no real way to avoid this. You have to do the work on yourself first uh, before you can open your heart to other people. If you're anything like I was when my relationship ended, you'll have this whole kind of cocktail of emotions just whizzing around your brain. And it's important to try and work through some of those before you re-enter a new relationship. You might grieve for the ideal vision of the partner that you had in your mind. Um, you might feel ashamed, sad, relieved, happy, um, scared. You might even question whether the abuse really happened or whether it's all in your head. These are all really common side effects of abuse, especially kind of psychological um, abuse tactics like gaslighting that make you think you're crazy. And know that the outcome can be kind of traumatic. It might take you time to work through a kind of post-traumatic stress response and that's okay. Talk to your doctor about what you've experienced and how you're feeling now and if you can, try and be referred to a counsellor or a therapist to just help you deal with some of these feelings and work through what's happened. Give yourself time and give yourself space to deal with what you've been through and try and sort of see that as the most important work of all, which is getting to know yourself again and what you want after this relationship has come to an end. Secondly, don't be afraid to be vulnerable with yourself and with other people. This might sound kind of counterintuitive if you've been in a relationship where someone's violated your trust, um, but it's important to recognise that vulnerability is part of the human condition and it's necessary if you want to have meaningful relationships going forward. As Lewis Carroll once said, there is far more danger in an unbreakable heart than there is in vulnerability. However, I have to caveat this with my third and final point, which is trust your instinct. Now, there was probably a time, if you're completely honest with yourself in your relationship, where your gut was kind of screaming at you to run for the hills and get out of the relationship. Uh, whether you'd spotted some of the early warning signs of verbal abuse or her physical abuse, or you just felt like there was something toxic about the relationship. Try and relearn those cues and tune into your instinct as much as possible and just take things slowly. When you enter a romantic relationship, when you feel ready, just take your time to get to know that person before you make any sudden decisions about your future. Try not to move in with somebody too quickly or get engaged or have a baby or any of those kind of huge life decisions. Um, just because you need time to relearn who you are and um, kind of relearn who you can trust and who you want to trust in the future. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, leave any comments or thoughts you have down below. And don't forget to head over to the Healthy Place blog, which I will link in the description box and read the full article. See you soon. Bye.